the way that we think about multiband and all of our mesh router radios are now um, multiple frequency band um, configurations is it's just more tools in your toolkit, as you mentioned. And so uh, when, what, how we approached this was we, ha we also had single frequency band radios. That was the standard, as you mentioned. And then we worked closely with DIU for the Blue UAS program. And they gave us a, some parameters for uh, a hex band uh, radio where they wanted coverage over the six frequency bands between 1.6 gigahertz and 2.5. Um, they actually didn't need it to be in one single radio, but we were able to do that with this um, mini OEM form factor in Helix. Helix is our offering for, for defense configurations or federal frequency bands. And so we also go down to L and S band and up to NATO C band in various configurations. But overall, what's that in service of is more frequency bands in a single radio means less integration work um, and less ability to, to, if you are being jammed in one, you're not limited in what you're able to do. And that's also layering on top what we just recently announced um, and released, which is our sense technology. Um, and that's where we started with multiple frequency bands and you had more tools in your toolkit. Now you're act uh, able to actively um, use all of them by able uh, with sense um, being able to experience interference on the data link and actually be able to uh, intelligently move to better performing channels within a frequency band or to other frequency bands altogether. And so specifically in terms of um, counteracting jamming, as, as we talked about, which is just noise on the link, we're able to move to better performing parts of a data link and you're just have a much wider highway basically with multiple lanes now um, to, to facilitate that, that better traffic.